The groundwork we're laying right now is in Pompeii, and Vesuvius is erupting, and it's fraud. It was a $9.3 billion global problem in March. I'm sorry, it's $8.3 billion global problem in March. It's a $9.2 billion global problem as of last week, according to the ANA. I want to stop everything and fix that before we move on. We cannot continue to be in denial about the 8 million pound gorilla in the room. Until we fix that, all of this is theoretical and it's less interesting to me and to my leadership by the hour. This is the biggest threat we're facing. All this other stuff is just the operational blocking and tackling that we're gonna go through. If we can't fix fraud, this doesn't matter and we're back to publisher direct or other models. That was really your, your first and second priority was the, was the F word and was uh, viewability. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. And we're, we're, we're now we're good, so I can go now. So. Yeah. Well, 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 Lou, talk another minute. I mean, where, where does that start? I mean, because it, it seems like uh, attribution models are failing, and ultimately, like, there's some of your peer group that's allowing this money to go in that should be, you know, demanding better behavior. I mean, you just did, and yeah, I, I where's think, everybody else? You know, I think that you got you to gotta sort of follow the money, right? Where is the money going, and how are we shutting it off? Are we using a probabilistic mitigation solution or are we using a deterministic mitigation solution? If we're using a deterministic mitigation solution, how often are we blacklisting? If we're not blacklisting every hour, you've got problems, right? We're not. We've got to get there. Um, we've got to work as an industry to find and drive fraud out of our business. If you listen to Michael Tiffany from White Ops, what he'll tell you is that the people who are engaged in this, I love this name, the fraudsters, so we're marketeers, and we're up against the fraudsters, and it's like the sharks and the jets. Okay, five, six years ago, they were going after the banking industry. Yeah. And um, he singles out Bank of America as one of the companies that really built the wall very, very high and made it impossible for the fraudsters to really come after banking. So they went after a soft target. Luckily, I'm in that group too. So, you know, we have to build the wall high collectively, and then we can have these wonderful debates about what is a viewable impression and all of the other stuff, but right now they're coming over the wall and they're taking our money, and, you know, I kind of feel like Nero fiddles Rome burns. So let's focus on the fraud problem. 